how could I not enjoy this time of my life? Expect ugly, but first it's gonna be ugly. Go, 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 go. Because I do wanna go, go, go on the road. Look at this beauty. Anyway, I have, I have, <laughs> Hi, I'm Claudia and thank you for joining me today. If you watched the last video, double thank you. <laughs> it was probably hard to watch, but maybe not as hard as me making it. Oh my gosh, that was such an experience. And as if that wasn't enough, I also upgraded the bathroom faucet. But that wasn't nearly as difficult as the kitchen. After that, I got to realize that I had been fixing things and that there are a lot of things to be fixed. I looked at my floors and the linoleum is pulling up. Here we have linoleum that is from, I don't know, a century ago. And look, it's splitting already. So the floors needs to go. It's just outdated. I've been covering the sofa, the benches with throws and pillows, and it has looked very nice. I, I love it. To me, those are all temporary fixes. In my new nomadic lifestyle, I will be traveling a lot. And I was thinking to take advantage of the generosity of a family member that is letting me stay here a little bit longer. And I was thinking, well, if I have this opportunity, I might as well take it and actually do a full remodel. So that's what I wanna do, a full remodel of the RV. Because once I leave, I won't have the same resources and I only wanna focus on discovering in new places and sharing that with you. So I wanna do all the work now before I take off. And considering the cost of gas nowadays, wow. I think it's the, it's the right time to do the renovation. I plan to start by removing the sofa, the conversion to a bed. It just takes so much more space when it's converting to a, a bed. Instead of the jackknife sofa, I will have a twin size bed that is gonna serve as a sofa and as a bed. I also want to remove the dining table and benches because they're very restricted and I didn't use them very much. What I do need is an office space. I just want to have a more open floor plan so I will share what I plan to do and also I want to invite you to su make suggestions. I know there are many of you watching they have a lot of experience more than I do and carpentry or plumbing so i would really appreciate your input or if you see me that i'm about to make a mistake maybe you can help me and stop me from it so i plan to open the floor plan more remove the jackknife sofa remove the dining table and benches also my kitchen has a little l shape but the l shape takes away from being a, a more open floor plan so i am looking into cutting that straight across and i'm gonna show you in the process i am an interior designer but i'm not a builder i don't have construction experience I just know what it needs to be done and I know space planning so I want to use those skills and put myself to the test it's interesting because as a child I was never never good at craft I was awful and here I am now and uh, almost my golden years give it a try but anyway it is my soul vacation so I'm just letting my soul go wild and do whatever feels good and I am so so excited to share with you once I narrow things down a little bit. Maybe I'll do a, lo a little presentation board or something, I don't know. Anyway, talking about that, I did mention that I'm an interior designer and if I was doing this for a client, there are many steps that I would take for them because a lot of people are not visual, so there's a lot of preparation that one must do for a client. But since I already know what it's gonna look like, I already have pictured everything I want. I have the colors, the textures, everything in my head. I am going to skip the interior designer 
process because I am gonna do it for myself. I know where my goal is. I am so excited about this because I have done projects for other people, but I never really, well, I actually did remodel my kitchen and another house, Never mind. I'm just excited because this is a tiny home and I get to make it just the way I want it. I'm not going to worry about a reselling value. I don't care if I lose reselling value because I make a, a decision and now now I am so excited to make things happen. I had to start getting to know what I really, really like and pull it here and then pull it there and make something that is going to satisfy me. Mm. There will be traveling, I promise you, because I'm so eager to just go, 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 go. But I want to do things right now that I can. I am going to make my home, my home first, and then my home and I are going to take off and we're going to take you with us, my little house and I, and show you new places or maybe places that you already have seen through my lens. But there will be a lot of discovering. I'm I'm just very very happy and very very excited about growing and doing and making things i'm not afraid of making mistakes they're gonna be my mistakes i don't have anyone to please but myself so that is so good how could i not enjoy this time of my life like people complain a bit about getting old and and, and this and that and yes I am getting old. I have a lot of gray hair. I'm trying to let it grow and then do something pretty with the grays, but I wanna let my gray show. I am gonna take care of myself always. And I hope that through you watching that, if you choose to, you're always invited to watch what I'm doing. And my purpose of inviting you to watch what I'm doing is so it may bring you happiness or it may bring you a different option that you didn't think about or may inspire you to let go of that thing that you know you might need to let go of. I might inspire you because I'm letting go. I am going to update the mini and it's gonna be awesome. I always believe in beauty having a function. I don't believe in making spaces beautiful just so they're beautiful. I want to make beautiful spaces that are also functional. So I am going to be talking about this a lot, I think, because it is my passion. It really, I really have a lot of joy when I'm designing for someone and now I'm designing for myself and I have, I feel like I have double of the joy. My goals are to open the space to you use eco-friendly products as much as possible, to use as little money as possible. I am going to recycle a lot of what I'm taking out, but when I'm buying something, I'm going to buy quality. And first, I want to make it eco-friendly. So that's one of my goals, to be as green as possible, to stick to a budget as much as possible, to make it not a super long, dried out project. I want to stay in focus. I want to go, 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 because I do want to go, go, go on the road as soon as possible. I have received the main material I want to use and I cannot wait to show you. Oh! Come and take a look at this. Look at this beauty. I am super excited to introduce to you the main material that I'm going to use in the mini and that is cork. Wow! Cork is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful product. There is cork flooring, cork wall, cork wallpaper, cork fabric. There is even cork spray paint. And I plan to use all of them in one way or another. I am going to be focused on the interior and then I'm going to take off and I think as I am on the road I may upgrade the exterior. So anyway, cork, cork, cork has so many benefits to it. Wow, cork is 
waterproof, it's very resilient, it's soundproof, it's sustainable product. Cork is only harvested every, I think, nine or 10 years. And it's by taking the bark of the oak tree. So the, the tree is not harmed, the tree is not cut, and the tree grows bark again. And then one can harvest it in another 10 years. It is mainly harvested in Portugal. And I found a wonderful company that is space in Georgia but they have a branch in LA and I plan to visit it in the future. I am gonna make my purchase and then I'm gonna go pick it up and I already talked to them about letting me take a little video about the processing. Anyway I as I have <laughs> I am so excited to show you what is to come with the renovation. But first it's gonna be ugly because I'm gonna be start making mess and taking everything out and I'm gonna show you everything. Expect ugly, but little by little, we're gonna get beautiful and it's gonna be amazing. I know it will be because it's gonna be a good project. So anyway, I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching, for your patience, for your comments. You're all very loving and I really, really appreciate you. Let's catch up on the next one. Ciao!